The Short Circuit Freedom or Death album is a hard-edged lyrical rap album with hardcore lyrics and poetry. The album has that East Coast flow and feeling, and has that East Coast rap sound, of course. Short Circuit's lyrics have much stimulation to them. Short Circuit Freedom or Death was a representation of some of No Limit's albums from the late 90s. Short Circuit was one of No Limit's finest lyricists, as he was super creative and lyrical. Not many people know this, but the original title of this album was Freedom or Death. However, Master P changed the album title from Freedom of or Death to Gone AWOL. This proved to be a smart marketing strategy because Master P knew what he was doing. Master P was the one who made the executive decision to change the album's title. Short Circuit Gone AWOL was the No Limit album that never was. Short Circuit Gone AWOL was supposed to be released on No Limit Records and their sub-label imprint No Limit East in 1999. Gone AWOL was to be released on No Limit Records before they left Priority Records. However, his album remained unreleased because Short Circuit was incarcerated during that time. He was serving a sentence in prison at the time his album was supposed to be released. 1999 was a totally different feel from No Limit. That is why Gone AWOL was never released. He had so many songs recorded for his Gone AWOL album, which never got released, and he also had songs for his Freedom or Death album, which never got released, or have leaked online, or have been shown to the public. The public has not heard these songs. Unsurprisingly, many No Limit albums that were advertised didn't come out during that time for whatever the reasons were. A lot of these covers were designed before the albums were even recorded. Master P was putting out albums like an assembly line. Gone AWOL was one of those albums. The production team never had time to fully mix and master the Gone AWOL album. Now supposedly the Gone AWOL album was released, but was took off the shelf immediately within less than a few days. Gone AWOL remained fully unreleased until 2019 when Short Circuit himself leaked songs from his albums onto his YouTube channel. He leaked songs from his Freedom or Death album and Gone AWOL album onto his YouTube channel. Of course, his other songs have been leaked by various YouTube channels over the years. I'm Gone is considered to be one of Short Circuit's hardest songs and is the hardest song on the album. Short Circuit has a flow and style similar to Cameron on this song. Now the horn section is what made this song quite smooth and soothing. You can also hear the tape hiss and distortion from the production in this song. Moby Dick and Short Circuit brought that East Coast flavor style and sound to the song. Short Circuit has a flow and style similar to Redman and LL Cool J on this song. Short Circuit brought an East Coast style to the tank, of course, but you already knew that, as I explained earlier. Bring My Burners is one of Short Circuit's most well-known songs. This was also one of his most lyrical songs next to I'm Gone. Bring My Burners was a song which came out of the on the No Limit Soldiers compilation in 1998. Now, not many people knew this or know this fact, but Bring My Burners was a battle between Short Circuit and Busta Rhymes, which happened in L.A. in Los Angeles, California. Short Circuit took Busta Rhymes out in front of KRS and everyone else that was present during that time. Everybody was there to see the battle which happened over the Black Eyed Peas and Short Circuit. Short Circuit was killing his rhymes three to none. However, Master P quickly defused the battle and what else happened after that is unknown and remains unknown. Never Take This Away was an emotional banger from Short Circuit himself. The beat sounds similar to beats produced by Rockwilder, which gives this song an edge of commercial pop and East Coast rap. Short Circuit explains how he constantly fights for his freedom throughout the song. He tells us he will change his ways, his, his hustle, and his lifestyle. The song Braveheart has real bars and rhymes with solid lyrics, yet Short Circuit's style of rap is unpredictable and unorthodox. His style and cadence are similar to Redman Scrubo on this song of his. Roam These Trenches is a jazz funk driven rap song with a minimum horn selection that with that rough gangsta edge and reality rap. The song samples Biggie victories, so you can easily see and hear where that East Coast influence comes from.
The song Who Knowed That is one of his lesser known songs, which was recorded for the Freedom or Death album, which never got released to the public at all. The song has a South Southern rap meets East Coast rap type of sound and vibe. There were posters and flyers printed up for the Gone AWOL album, but not many for the Short Circuit Freedom or Death album, which was advertised in the True and in the 1997 album from True. This was the original poster for the Short Circuit Freedom or Death album. Now notice here that the Freedom or Death album has similar graphics to the Gone AWOL album. That is because the Freedom or Death album graphics design was designed by Pen and Pixel, of course. Now you see here some of the hot wire bars and uh, have been ironed and are on fire in a lighter manner. As, as it's not the case with the uh, Gone AWOL album, you notice there's a difference in Boolean points. That symbol of lightning is a lot closer to his head than on the Gone AWOL album. There's a slight difference there.